Hello everybody, once again, this is Gonzalo Vasquez, your Spanish teacher, and this is the easy way to learn Spanish with NLS, the Natural Learning System. So, let's do it. In this video, we're going to talk about the letter Q. Okay? The letter Q. And this particular letter always in Spanish is going to be followed by the letter, the vowel U, o la vocal U. You never go to see it by itself. Always is being followed by U. Okay? The, the name of the letter is Q and the sound is with the, you know, once again, we got to have some exceptions, and I got to explain you that. Uh, once again, it's not a letter that we use much in the beginning. Use it a lot in in, in the middle, and in, in some particular situations. So let's see. With the A, will be K. With the K, with the E, will be K. Co and Ku, okay? Once again, with the A, I did not find any, any word in Spanish. We don't have any word and start with the A. You know, Ku and A. Mm -mm. With the A, we have it, and like I show you over here, K, we use it to, to question. What? K? K? And here, you go to start learning. Every time in English, remember, we use just one question mark. In Spanish, we use both. Okay? One in the beginning, one in the end. But we go to question. K, that's the, that's the way. With the A, see? The U between the Q and the, and the A. K, queso. That is cheese. Queso. Querer. Querer, you want, you know, you want to do it, or you love the person, you love, you want to love, okay, querer. Querida, querida, we talk about, we make a reference, also, the many, many different ways, and, uh, and the idiomatic expression sometimes apply, and, uh, but querida, uh, you can make a reference, feel free to, to say, make a reference to it. A, a nice looking lady I say, well, está querida. No, eh, ella está querida. That means she looks good. Okay? Quebrar. Quebrar is to break, to crack. Quebrar. You know? Quebrar el palo. Quebrar el, par, el plato. You know? To, to break. Con la letra I, we have a few, like a Quito. It's a capital of Ecuador. Quien. You know, also, I don't have over here the question marks, but most of the time is, most of the, it can be used in both ways, but most of the time it's the question, quien, who, who. If you go to ask, if I got to make it like a question, if I got to, I got to say who, so in this case, I will put the question marks and will be quien, quien. Now in this one, I put it out the question marks. The like quien can be part of the word, part of a phrase, depending on what are we talking about. We're going to see that in the future. Quinto. Quinto. That's an ordinal number. Okay. The third, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Quinto, the fifth. Okay? Quinientos. Same thing, ordinal number. Number 500. Quinientos. Quinientos. Quieto. Don't move. Get frost. Stand still, you know, stand still. Quieto. You know, that's when you talk to the boy, he's moving the ladder, right there. Say, hey, stop. You 
know, be quiet, stop, freeze. You know, in Spanish we say, quieto, quieto. Okay? So once again, la Q con la I, quito, quien, quinto, quinientos, quieto. Con la O, co, allí no fan nothing. Con la U, the only one, and here is the exception of the rule that I told you in the beginning. The only word in Spanish, and I got to explain you, once again, eh, 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 I do apologize, this is Somebody is calling me. Um, the, the only time in Spanish, the only word that you go to see that start with Q and the U sound, you know, in the U is quorum. Quorum is the same quorum in English. The same thing means the same thing. You need uh, uh, the some of these uh, meetings, especially political or or, or, or corporations, they have uh, you know all, all the all, 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 all the, the the people who owns the corporation and uh, they want to make a decision, so they need a quorum in order to approve something. So they say, well, the quorum has to be the the the, the half plus one. Okay, or we need three quarters of the members in order to approve. That's the quorum. And if we don't have a, 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 the, the a stipulated a, a number of members, so they say there's no quorum to approve. There's no quorum. So no I quorum. So quorum is the only word that you go to see that song with you. Okay, the, the you song is the only one. Now, I want to make myself clear, and this is because I'm very sure that a lot of people for particular countries, they go to say, oh, Gonzalo is saying that this, and I can show you my dictionary, and I have 500 letters that start with A, that start, you know, the Q&A, with the, the Q&O, and, and the Q&U, and, and I have blah, 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 blah. And I just want to make myself clear. This is Spanish. I'm not mixing no words for idiomatic expressions or for particular countries. There's got to be a lot, a lot of words that you got to see, but it's got what we got to say. Expresiones foráneas. Son conocidas así en español o eh, eh, expresiones innecesarias. O sea, esta letra, this letter, we use it to, it's like we say, I can say, I got to give an example, I can say Quebec. It's not Spanish. Okay? And uh, you got to see a lot of these kind of things. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Or if somebody tell you or mention something, go ahead, I'm here. Once again, this is the easiest way to learn Spanish with NLS, the Natural Learning System. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, any opinions, anything, any kind of suggestions, contact me. You can do it in my webpage, or you can email me, or you can do it in, in uh, also here in YouTube. Okay. There is my email address, Gonzalo at bueno, let's do it com. My webpage is bueno, let's do it com. And uh, I'm here for you. Thanks for watching.